What's up, lightly frustrated people? Today, we're gonna learn how to make a vertically folding card in InDesign. So opening up InDesign, I'm just gonna start a new file, going to File, New, and Document. I'm gonna change my units to inches. Uh, for the width, I'm gonna choose a seven by five, so this is gonna be a landscape card. For the number of pages, I want four, because we want a front of the card, we want a blank inside of the card, and we want a back. Uh, make sure facing pages is turned off. I don't want facing pages. And for the bleed, let's let's go ahead and make a bleed. We'll just make it, yeah, an eighth of an inch. So 0.125 inches. And hit create. Okay. Looking at the document now, you can kind of see that this, this red line is the actual full bleed. So this is going to help printers if you have artwork that extends all the way past the edges. Uh, this is just the margin here. So what you're what you're seeing, what geez, what you should be seeing right now is uh, just these four artboards separated. Uh, I'm just going to show you real quick. If we were to click facing pages and have that selected, what we're going to get here is a horizontally folding card. So this is going to fold kind of like uh, you know like a book would, and we don't want that. We're kind of we kind of want these stacked on top of each other, and there's no way to do that. If you go to the page tool and try to shift it under, you're going to get something like this, and it just never lets you, um, yeah, put that fold on the direct top and bottom like we want. So I just went back to the original uh, setup, so all of these artboards deselected. And the way that we're going to fix that is we're just going to control click or right click one of these artboards, and we're going to hit allow document pages to shuffle. We're going to uncheck that. You can, you can leave this one on, but yeah, we want this one to be unchecked. So now that we have that, we can manipulate this a little bit easier. So I'm going to hit this third artboard now. And I'm going to drag it up to the second one until you see that bracket. And that's going to connect them. Now this still has it connected in the center like we don't want. But now that we have deselected the allow document pages to shuffle, we can play with it. So on the page tool here, you can hit shift to P. But yeah, using the page tool, we're just going to click and drag this third artboard and drag it directly under the second artboard. So this is what we want to see. Now we have this uh, nice fold on the inside and yeah, the two pages stacked. So you can end the, you can end the video here if that's all you needed to know. Um, I'm going to place a little bit of artwork on here just to kind of um, show you how to prepare this for the printer. But yeah, the, the fold is done. You can, you can export this now and it's ready to go. So I'm just going to quickly place some artwork. I'm just going to hold Command and Shift to quickly resize it. So that one's there. And I'm going to just put my logo on the back. I'm going to hit this JPEG logo. Um, you probably shouldn't use a JPEG for print, but I had this one handy, so that's why I'm using it. So don't, 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 you know, clown me in the comments or anything. I know I'm not supposed to use a JPEG, but it's all good for this. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Now I can resize it. I gotta resize it a lot too, because it is too big. So I'm just holding, there's, there's a more efficient way to do this, but I am doing this quick and sloppy. There we go. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to yeah have this pretty small. And we're just gonna put it in the bottom of that margin like that. Okay. So that's kind of that's kind of what we want. So yeah. One final note is when a printer would actually print this card, um, he would this would be the front this would fold and this would be the back. So the fold would actually be, or the image rather, it would actually be on the opposite side of this page. So w if it were to be folded, it would turn it upside down. So we have this artwork the way we want it now, but in order for it to print correctly and look correctly when it's folded, we gotta turn this inverted. So I'm just gonna, all I was doing there is just went to the outside until you see these curved, this curved cursor, and then you can turn it um, 
however much you want. So I turned it 180 degrees. So now when this was actually printed, um, yeah, this and folded, this will be the correct orientation. It will appear right side up. So that's just a side note, uh, something I have found yeah, when I actually printed cards like these. So yeah, just so you know. Okay, now we're just going to export this and actually prepare this for the printer. So I'm just going to go to File and Export. You can hit Command E as well. Uh, we're just going to keep this uh, Adobe PDF print in the format since we are uh, getting this printed. So I'm not going to title it anything fancy or funny. Okay, and now we want to go to Marks and Bleed. And I want, see, you'll see all this all printers marks. So I want the crop marks to show and I want the bleed marks to show. So the crop marks are where the printer needs to cut it and the bleed marks are the artwork that would extend all the way to the outside or past the uh, edges of your uh, crops. So yeah, make sure that both of these are uh, selected. Your printer may not need them, um, but I think uh, the printers I've worked with, uh, they find it helpful. So I'm gonna have them selected. Let's wait for this to export. It's gonna go to my desktop. It's gonna double click the PDF that we just made so we can see it in Acrobat and you can see the uh, the actual crop marks. Okay, so this is the front of the page. This is what we, this is the artwork we had turned upside down. And now we have this crop mark and this full bleed mark. And if we um, go a little bit further, let's go, we'll go to the second page. This is the second page. And as you can see, it's a longer page because there is a fold intended to be here. Um, we didn't put the, a fold mark or anything because we don't want that to actually be printed. And then we have the back, just with the uh, Cool Guy Designs logo in the bottom. So that is the end of the video. Um, hope you found this helpful. This is something that's kind of uh, confusing about InDesign. And uh, yeah, I just did one of these cards for the holidays, and it you know kind of took me a second to figure out. So hopefully um, this ends anyone else's frustration. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you like this. Like and subscribe and comment on any other videos you want me to make or anything you want me to explain about Adobe um, products and things like that. All right, thanks. Bye.